what would you do if, uh, in your church context, a trans-identifying person comes and starts to worship at your right. church? How would you address that? Right. So th there's there are two things that you have to... Uh, I, I group people into two categories, right? Uh, uh, apostles and refugees, right? So uh, the Christian church is presenting the way of salvation to everyone. Pre Jesus said to preach the gospel to every creature. And that includes people who are all messed up by the trans thing. So if someone comes into your church and they, they're halfway down the road, hormone shots, they're dressing like a woman, they're doing all this stuff, and they come into your congregation, you give them a hymnal and a place to sit, and you say, welcome, and can I meet with you, and can, can we explain more about our worship and stuff? He's a refugee. Mm -hmm. All refugees are welcome, okay? But if he's coming as an apostle, let me tell you about the, the, the glorious new way we're doing things out there. We're, we want to set you guys straight. We want to set you conservative people straight. Uh, I would say, no, sorry, uh, you're, you're not welcome. You cannot propagate that message here. You're not welcome to preach this new gospel here. You must, you must go. So refuge, all refugees are welcome. Apostles are not welcome. If someone is already a member of our church and they start to transition, you know, the wife comes to us and says, my husband's starting to wear my underwear and he's taking hormone shots and he's, you know, he's going down this road. We would treat it just like we would if he were having an affair. Hmm. Uh, if he were committing adultery, we'd go to him, we'd confront him, we'd call him to repentance. And if he didn't repent, the end of the road is we would excommunicate him. We would discipline him for yeah. that. 